Hey, what's going on everybody? It's James here with RTA Outdoor Living and we are back at it again with another video. This video is going to be jam packed with value, especially for anyone who is just starting their research on an outdoor kitchen project and is trying to understand the cost so they can determine a budget for their project. We are going to be unveiling the best ways to determine and tailor your budget to your needs. As you're watching this video and considering your budget, it's also important to know that your outdoor kitchen will add value to your home and your lifestyle, so you'll likely get a return on your investment. If you've already watched our cost video and read through some of our resources that are available on our website in regards to outdoor kitchen pricing, you probably already know that the average outdoor kitchen ranges from about twelve dollars to $13,000, but this doesn't quite encompass the lower end and higher end projects. So we will start with the scale of your project as this will likely have the greatest impact on your budget. Let's start with a modest budget. This is for someone who is just wanting something simple and to the point. These are typically projects where people are very limited on space or just wanting to upgrade out of their cart model and add some counter space. Designs that fall into the modest budget category are often going to be manufactured with lower grade materials, which means you won't have the longevity you would have with a more expensive option. Believe it or not, a short term solution is actually what some people are looking for as they may be moving out of their house in the next five years and don't really wanna pay for the longevity if they won't be there to enjoy it. A modest budget can start at about $2,000 and can go as high as $10,000. These are usually linear islands with a couple of appliances like a grill and some storage features and maybe even a refrigerator as you get up to the higher end of the modest budget range. The finishes on these islands can vary, but you will most likely see stucco, manufactured veneer stone, and tile for the base of the island, and then concrete or lower grade granite for the countertops. An outdoor kitchen on the low end of the modest budget range typically can be found at a big box store like Home Depot or Lowe's. And you can find outdoor kitchens on the higher end of the modest budget range at online retail sites like Wayfair. It's important to know that not all modest budget outdoor kitchens are going to be made from lower grade materials, but any outdoor kitchen that is made from higher grade materials is going to sit into the middle to the upper end of the modest budget range as quality built-in grills alone are going to start around $1,500, but most do fall into the two to $3,000 range. Mid-range budget. This is the budget range that the majority of people fall into as the modest budget might not give you everything that you need. These are for people that are looking for more versatility and space with the way that they're going to cook and host. Most mid-range outdoor kitchens are going to fall somewhere into the $10,000 to $25,000 range. Mid-range budget outdoor kitchens is where you start to step into an L-shape, galley, or even longer linear layouts. This is also where you get into options that are going to be manufactured with premium grade materials and higher end prefabricated outdoor kitchens. Quite honestly, this is the budget range where a lot of our designs fall into. Outdoor kitchen setups that fall into this range are going to give you the ability to add features like bar seating, additional counter space, and allow you to choose from a full line of appliances like trash, refrigeration, sinks, and higher end grills. Top of the line budget. A top of the line budget is for someone who pretty much wants it all. This is for someone that likely entertains and hosts large gatherings often. It is where you will really have the ability to deck the design out with all the features and all the things that you could dream of. These are usually going to be U-shape or even extremely elaborate L-shape designs. In general, these are going to be designs where you have multiple island structures or different zones on your outdoor kitchen. People in this budget range are usually looking for a ton of cooking versatility and is where you can usually see multiple cooking appliances like a gas grill, smokers, griddles, pizza ovens, and even power burners incorporated into their designs. Most of the setups in this budget range are usually going to start at about $30,000 and can go as high as $70,000 for the more elaborate layouts. We do have designs that fall into this range for our more elaborate U-shapes and even some of our L-shapes, but as mentioned before, most of our designs fall into the mid-range budget. Now that we have the scale of the project and the budget ranges out of the way, let's go through the other factors that you'll wanna consider when determining your budget. 
At the end of the day, you will need a place to put your outdoor kitchen. So if you don't have an existing patio to put your kitchen on, you will have to hire someone to build a patio for you. If you already have an existing patio, you will be able to avoid this expense altogether. The patio size required for your outdoor kitchen can vary depending on the design that you go with. But the average size outdoor kitchen can fit on a 12 by 12 patio, which will range from about $2,000 to $6,000, depending on the materials you use and who you hire. Most people go with a paver or concrete patio, but some other popular material choices are things like bluestone or flagstone. Concrete patios range from about $8 to $20 per square foot, Paver patios will range from about 15 to 35 per square foot. Bluestone patios will range from about $20 to $40 per square foot. And flagstone will be anywhere from 15 to $30 per square foot. Utilities are needed in almost all outdoor kitchen projects. And the three most common utilities you will need are going to be gas, electric, and water. If you want a sink or an ice maker, you will have to install water and drain lines. The average cost to run water lines to your outdoor kitchen for a simple setup will be about $500 to $2,000. But projects that are more involved can be as high as $2,000 to $5,000. Electrical can run you anywhere from about $50 to $100 per hour, and it can usually take about six to 10 hours to perform the work. If you hire a plumber to run a gas line for you, they will typically charge anywhere from $15 to $25 per linear foot. Having a shade structure over your outdoor kitchen is a great way to keep yourself out of the hot sun and allow you to get more use out of your outdoor kitchen. If you are looking into getting a shade structure with your outdoor kitchen, the average shade structure will cost you anywhere from $8,000 to $25,000. The location of your outdoor kitchen can have a fairly large impact on your budget as the closer you build your outdoor kitchen to your house, the more you will likely save. If your outdoor kitchen is further away from your house, the utility lines will generally cost more to run and most people end up decking their outdoor kitchen out a little bit more as you won't be able to make convenient trips in and out of the house. Appliances typically make up about half the cost of an outdoor kitchen, so it is important to understand how to properly budget for your appliances. When it comes to appliances, there are three classes of appliances. There's economy, premium, and luxury. We would not recommend putting economy appliances into an outdoor kitchen because they aren't really designed to be built into island structures. And typically they aren't really built to last. Economy level grills are what you can expect to find at big box stores and the grills are typically in the $500 to $1,500 range. Premium grills are appliances that are going to be built to last and are also designed to be built into an outdoor kitchen. And these grills will range from about $1,500 to $4,000. Luxury grills are the top of the line options and these grills will usually start in the $5,000 range and can go up to about $10,000 or even more. Let's talk about refrigerators. It's important to know that we're only gonna be talking about outdoor rated refrigerators. Sure, you could get a mini fridge for around $300 to $500, but these refrigerators aren't going to be outdoor rated and likely won't hold up very long when outdoors. The average outdoor rated refrigerator will cost around $1,000 on the low end and can go up to about as high as $5,000 for luxury brands. Ice makers are a great option for people that are wanting to step up their ability to entertain outdoors. Ice makers will cost you anywhere between $2,000 and $4,000. Kegerators can be a cool addition to your outdoor kitchen, but expect these to cost anywhere from $2,000 to $4,000 as well. Sinks are a great addition to an outdoor kitchen as they are extremely functional, giving you the ability to wash your hands and also dishes outside. A lower end drop-in sink will cost you about $300 and a higher tier drop-in sink will cost you about $700 to $1,000 and a refreshment or bar sink will cost you anywhere from $1,300 to $2,000. Storage drawers are an important addition to any outdoor kitchen. You don't want to invest in a beautiful outdoor space with no place to put anything. There are two different types of storage drawers. There are sealed and non-sealed storage drawers. Sealed drawers come with gaskets and are designed to completely keep water and other things out. These drawers do come at a higher cost than non-sealed drawers. Smaller storage drawers will cost you between $500 to $800. Sealed storage drawers will start at around $800 and large storage drawer setups 
will be between $800 and $2,000. Access doors don't have storage functionality, but they still do serve a purpose on your outdoor kitchen layout, as they'll allow you to have access into your island to access or service your utility lines, and even at times, store propane tanks for your grill. Single access doors will cost you anywhere from $200 to $400, and then double access doors will cost you anywhere between $300 and $800. Warming drawers are not a common addition to most setups, but they are a nice to have if you are feeding an army and have to cook in multiple rounds. The average warming drawer will cost anywhere from $1 to $2,000. Aside from the appliances, the island construction and countertops make up the other half of the cost. Since there are many materials that you can use, the price of the island fluctuates, but to keep things simple, most quality outdoor kitchen island structures are going to start at around $700 per linear foot. The linear foot price starts to increase as you start upgrading the finishes on your island. I know that was a lot of information to digest, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for future videos just like this. Once again, I am James here with RTA Outdoor Living, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video as we continue to help people all over the country host the moments that matter.